uh, I'm uh, Dr. Pankaj Tiku. I am a pediatrician and uh, through this uh, short clinical video, I will be giving you a basic familiarization with the history taking and the examination in a child when he comes to the outpatient department. Now, the child may come to you with any complaints related to any organ systems. But I will just give you an outline of how the child's history taking and the examination of the child should be done. What are the different parts of the history and the examination that should be done. Kavish is with us and uh, he had come to us with a complaint of abdominal pain. Uh, while I will be taking the history and doing the examination of Kavish, I will be simultaneously telling you what are the different aspects of examination that we do in other children who present to us with other problems. So, Kavish has uh, agreed to be with us and uh, he will be uh, part of this history and examination taking. So, I hope you will enjoy this and you will understand what is the basics of history taking and examination in a child who comes in the outpatient department, a pediatric outpatient department. So, the first part of the history taking is always to note the name of the child, note the age of the child, note the day of examination and obviously note the gender of the child. Another thing that we normally like to do is to see whether the child has come to us in the past also and if the child is a follow up case of the same complaint that he has come with in the present uh, uh, visit to the outpatient department. So, I will first ask Kavish, uh, aapka naam Kavish hai, pura naam kya hai beta? Kavish Rena. Aapki age kya hai beta? 11 years. So, Kavish Rena, 11 years. Uh, then, he is a male. And then, I will note the day of the examination, that is the date today, I will note on my prescription slip. Now, once this has been done, now I will start with the presenting complaints of Kavish. So, Kavish has come to us with abdominal pain. So, beta, what is your problem? Hai? Chest pain is pain. So, you have abdominal pain, you have to pain, and 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 so, he has come to us with abdominal pain history. This abdominal pain history is for the last Kalseora pain. So, last two days. Loose motions were yesterday. So, it was 40 days. It was a little bit of water. It was a little bit of solid. Thi. So, he came to us with a semi solid stool history. It's very important to know whether the child is coming to you with a semi solid uh, stool history or the stools are totally watery. A totally watery stool usually goes more in favor of a, a gastroenteritis. So he says there is a semi-solid stool, and even that semi-solid stools they were ekbar hua tha bas one episode yesterday. Iske alawa aur koi problem beta? Chhiye. So basic complaints is abdominal pain and one episode of loose stool that the child had yesterday. These are the presenting complaints. Now we go a little back and hear from him since when this problem has been occurring. It's very important to know the history of the present complaint, whether this has been occurring because recurrent abdominal pain is a very, very common uh, history that uh, children come to us in the uh, OPD with and it's very important to know what type of an abdominal pain the child is having. So, beta, aapko isse pehle bhi jo hai, wo kabhi pet mein dard hota tha? Ye pehli baar hua hai. Achcha. Aur jo har month aapko ek hai, do baar hota hai, wo usi jagah par hota hai, jahan par aapko bhi हर बार जो पेट में दर्द होता है तो कभी-कभी जो है पॉटी आती है लूज का नॉर्मल भी रहती है पॉटी कई बार लूज आती है ओके अब महीने में एक या दो दिन पेट में दर्द रहता है इससे ज्यादा नहीं रहता ये कब से हो रहा है आपको कितना टाइम हो गया 6 महीने 1 साल 1 साल 6 मंथ्स सो द पास्ट हिस्ट्री इज दैट ही हैज अ पास्ट हिस्ट्री ऑफ सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ एब्डोमिनल पेन व्हिच हैज बीन अकरिंग फॉर द लास्ट 6 मंथ्स there are generally one to two episodes of such abdominal pains which may or may not be associated with loose stools. 
the best part with kavish is that kavish is of an age where he can give the history of its own the problem is sometimes that when very young children come to us very uh, children who are say below the age of 5 years the problem with uh, the history taking is that we have to take almost a second hand history that is a history which has to be taken from the parents so many times the parents probably are not able to convey exactly the type of the problem that the child is having because the child obviously is not able to convey the same problems to the parents and therefore because of a mediator in between sometimes what happens is the history taking may not be very accurate but in this case with kavish he is old enough to give us a history of his uh, present complaints so i write here past history similar types of abdominal pains happening since the last 6 months the abdominal pains are about 1 to 2 episodes jo aapko pata hai ye pet mein dard hota hai aur jo aapko kabhi kabhi beech mein beech mein bhi aate hain potty ke hai patti aate hain iske alawa aur koi problem ulti aana भूख ठीक से लगती है अच्छा सो ही हैज प्रोबेबली अ हिस्ट्री ऑफ अर्ली सेटाइटिस पोस्ट प्रैंडियल फुलनेस इज वन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम दैट इज ऑफन एसोसिएटेड विद फंक्शनल एब्डोमिनल पेन जैसे थोड़ा सा खाया द मोमेंट द चाइल्ड टेक्स इन सम अमाउंट ऑफ फूड द चाइल्ड स्टार्ट्स फीलिंग फुल सो दिस पोस्ट मील फुलनेस इज अगेन वन ऑफ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हिस्ट्री व्हिच मे इंडिकेट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सम ऑफ द फंक्शनल गैस्ट्रोइंटेस्टाइनल डिसऑर्डर्स इसके अलावा बेटा आप जब पॉटी करते हैं और पेन जो आपको हो रहा होता है तो पेन क्या पॉटी के साथ ज्यादा तेज बढ़ जाता है या पॉटी जो है कभी लूज होती है कभी ठीक हो जाती है ऐसा होता है कि नहीं एक दिन पॉटी हुई लूज पेन हुआ पर पेन जो है पॉटी के साथ जो है तेज या कम नहीं होता है ओके इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू टेक अस्ट्री ऑफ द एसोसिएशन ऑफ एमिनल पेन विद डेफिकेशन because that is one of the classical association seen in cases of ibs so ibs can be seen in children also it can be seen in adults also uh, similar to uh, uh, adults ibs has an association with defecation with change in the form of food and change in the frequency of food so that is why i was taking this history beta aapko jo hai jo kapde aap pehnte ho jo pehnte ho aisa to nahi lag raha last 6 mahine mein 7 mahine mein 8 mahine ke kapde jo hai aapke loose ho rahe hain जो तो कपड़े आप पहनते हो बिल्कुल वैसे ही होते हैं फिटिंग वैसे ही रहती है लूज तो नहीं लग रहे आपको कि लूज हो रहे हैं अच्छा वेट आपने लास्ट कब कराया था थ्री मंथ पहले कराया था तो वी टेक दैट वेट आल्सो व्हाई आई एम टेकिंग दैट हिस्ट्री इज दैट द हिस्ट्री वाज टेकन इन सच अ वे दैट आई वांटेड टू सी वेदर देयर इज अ लॉस ऑफ एपेटाइट और देयर इज अ लॉस ऑफ वेट व्हिच हैज बीन एसोसिएटेड विद एब्डोमिनल पेन because this is a more sinister problem a loss of appetite and a loss of weight associated with abdominal pain indicates probably to a more sinister problem in comparison to the functional abdominal pain that we commonly see in children kabhi potty mein cheeze aaye hain ek baar so there is a history ke liye aapne koi medicine li thi so there is a history of worms also in the stool kitne time pehle aapne वन मंथ हो गया पर उसके लिए कोई मेडिसिन नहीं नो मेडिकेशन और कोई प्रॉब्लम जो आप बताना चाहो किसी से रिलेटेड किसी और चीज से रिलेटेड कोई और प्रॉब्लम ओके सो ओवरऑल व्हाट आई गेट इज फ्रॉम दी चाइल्ड हिस्ट्री इज दैट ही हैज अ हिस्ट्री ऑफ एब्डोमिनल पेन दिस टाइप ऑफ पेन हैज बीन रेकरिंग फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम ऑलमोस्ट अराउंड सिक्स मंथ the pain usually is not a very severe type of a pain it for because you can see it from the child side also it would have been a very severe type of a pain uh, the child would have been almost like uh, in an uh, agony this way but that does not seem to happen so it's a more vague type of a pain happening almost every one to uh, one month or two months happening for the last six months not associated with any loss of appetite not associated with loss of weight when three months pehle aapne weight liya tha wo aapko yaad hai kitna tha नहीं आ रहा कोई बात नो लॉस ऑफ वेट एपरेंटली नो लॉस ऑफ एपेटाइट कभी ब्लड तो नहीं आया पॉटी में नो ब्लड इन दूल सो मोस्ट ऑफ दिस्टर प्रॉब्लम रूल्ड आउट सो दिस अपियर्स टू बी एट लीस्ट टिल नाउ बेस्ड ऑन द हिस्ट्री दिस अपियर्स टू बी अ केस मोर और लेस ऑफ अ फंक्शनल एबडोमिनल पेन इट मे बी रिलेटेड टू पैरासिटिक इन्फेक्शन ऑल्सो बिकॉज देर इज अस्ट्री ऑफ वर्म्स इन दूल इन एडिशन टू द प्रेजेंट एंड द पास्ट हिस्ट्री medication history as in adults is very important for the child so 
आप कोई मेडिसिन अभी तो नहीं ले रहे हो पेट में दर्द के लिए कभी आपको पहले मेडिसिन कोई दी है किसी डॉक्टर ने आपको जो है मम्मी को जो है नाम याद होगा ठीक है तो आई विल टेक अ हिस्ट्री फ्रॉम द मदर आल्सो लेटर ऑन व्हाट टाइप ऑफ ड्रग्स हैव बीन गिवन तो ओवरऑल द चाइल्ड इज नॉट ऑन मेडिकेशन इसके अलावा फैमिली में जो है पिता आप फर्स्ट चाइल्ड या सेकेंड चाइल्ड है बेटा आपकी एक सिस्टर है और सिस्टर बड़ी है छोटी है छोटी सिस्टर सो ही हैज अंगर सिस्टर इनकी एज क्या है और उनको कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं सो नो मेडिकल हिस्ट्री एज सच द फैमिली हिस्ट्री इज इम्पॉर्टेंट ओनली इन केसेज वे वी फील इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट विद यंग चिल्ड्रन वी हैव द पेरेंट्स हुआ रिकमिंग द चाइल्ड बट बिकॉज ऑफ द कोविड एरा वी नॉर्मली वुड ऑलवेज लाइक फॉर ओल्डर चिल्ड्रेन एट लीस्ट द पेरेंट्स टू बी सिटिंग इन द वेटिंग रूम आउट साइड एंड इन केस इट इज रेलिवेंट वी टेक द फैमिली हिस्ट्री ऑल्सो Uh, but here i do not feel there is any relevant uh, relevance of taking a family history because the child has come to us with uh, some abdominal pain which seems to be more like a functional abdominal pain although uh, unless and until we do an examination and rule out uh, important pathology we cannot with surety say that this is an abdominal pain but based upon the history that we have taken it appears more or less to be a case of uh, functional abdominal pain or an abdominal pain which may be associated with parasitic infection So this is how we take the basic history and connect the history with a tentative diagnosis, which obviously will be confirmed uh, to some extent by the examination findings and to some extent by the investigation.